in a very exciting development now you can use terraform from within the google cloud or in other words now terraform is tightly integrated with google cloud as an infrastructure manager this is huge news terraform is one of the most popular easy to use manageable extendable infrastructure as code tool out there at the moment Normally we use Terraform when we want to be cloud agnostic. What it means is that if we have multi-cloud environment or if we don't want to get stuck with one cloud, such as cloud formation in AWS, we use Terraform. Besides, Terraform is very easy to use, as I said earlier. So normally I have seen that when people are working with Google Cloud, they use Terraform. But Terraform was not really integrated as an API or as a service within Google Cloud earlier, but now we have Infrastructure Manager. Infrastructure Manager provides the capabilities of Terraform as a Google Cloud managed service. With Infrastructure Manager, you can manage your Google Cloud infrastructure using infrastructure as core principles built on the robust foundation of Terraform. This really brings the best of both worlds, offering a managed and streamlined experience for deploying, configuring and managing your cloud resources using declarative configuration. Infrastructure Manager is now generally available in every region in Google Cloud and you can use it today. In order to use it, the first thing you need to do is to enable the API. So log into your Google Cloud and then click on this enable and you will be able to use the Infrastructure Manager API. Make sure that wherever, whatever your project is, it is connect to your billing account. Only then you can use this Infrastructure Management API. In this video, I'm only introducing you to this Infrastructure Manager. And I will also quickly show you from the talk how you can deploy and start using it. But in the subsequent videos, I'll be creating some resources in GCP by using this Terraform. Cool. Okay, now you have already done the first step that you have enabled this API in your GCP. Now let me show you a few of the documentation as how exactly you can deploy your resources. Let me, uh, okay, so it is quite visible. So this is a command which you can use in the Google Cloud from your CLI, G Cloud CLI to provision the Terraform resources. So G Cloud is a CLI alpha that is the version and then infra manager deployments everything you deploy with terraform and gcp is called as deployment and then we say apply you give your project id you can uh, list multiple location location is the location where where your infra manager runs and then if you look at the valid location let me quickly go there and show you so the, these are the valid locations which you can check from here Asia East one, Europe West one or whatever okay and then deployment ID you can specify your own deployment identifier here and then we have service account which is necessary to in order to call the intra manager then your projects uh, this is the project ID of the service account and then if it is the same one, then you can use the same project ID where you're running this. And then we have another service account project ID, bucket name where you have uploaded your Terraform files. It is always a good idea to put all the configuration in uh, Terraform TF files and whatever other files you're using for variables and stuff. And then put them in Google Cloud Bucket and then specify that bucket here. And then you can also put in input values. So which are input values are which these are um, some of the Terraform configuration which are not which you are not using as um, by default. For example, in this example, you could specify the project where you deploy the resources as project ID so that you can make it parameterized. So once you run it, it will start provisioning the resources. So this is how you start running. Uh, the Terraform configuration within your Google Cloud by using Infrastructure Manager. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, once you enable your um, Infrastructure Manager API here, then and you have your billing account linked to your project, then you can simply go in 
can start running this command after uploading your Terraform in this GCS bucket. So there, there is all there is to it. Now, there are a lot of advantages which I can tell you off the bat, like, uh, you know, Infrastructure Manager lets you manage your Google Cloud infrastructure using Terraform and this approach, which we already mentioned, and we don't need to build any pipelines now externally because we can deploy, change, and manage our infrastructure in a safe, consistent, and repeatable manner, and this is huge. Also, this Infrastructure Manager simplifies the management of your cloud deployments because Terraform maintains the state, so you can maintain that state from within GCP now. You can easily track and manage the life cycle of your resources, update configuration and apply changes in a controlled and auditable manner. Because we know that with Terraform's plan and apply workflow, Infrastructure Manager helps ensure predictability and minimizes the risk of unintended infrastructure changes. And then we can easily provision and manage compute engine instances, Google Cloud, storage bucket, big query data sets, Kubernetes cluster, GKE, and much more, all using Google Cloud's library of prepackaged and recommended Terraform modules, which you can which you might already be using. And then you can use Terraform providers for that. And there are a lot of other things which you can use. And last but not least, as this is a Google Cloud managed service, this integrates with the whole Google Cloud ecosystem, um, all the Google Cloud products and services, which further enhances your infrastructure management experience. And then uh, you can also integrate it with Google Cloud logging for monitoring and troubleshooting, or even with Cloud Identity and Access Management or IAM for fine grain access control. So this is huge. I hope that you uh, find it as exciting as I do. If you have any questions or if you have already started using it, please share your experience. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.